Hello, it's been happy to be back with another reaction. Did I think I'd already be back at Rosalia this quickly? No, am I excited that I am? Yes. You guys have all said she has got music videos which really amplify and explain the storyline and things like that. Adriana and Daniel, Daniel aka Frank Stan, Ocean Accounts, they've given me lowdowns. They've both gone into detail. So I'm gonna read that before I go into the music video. I thought all of them had music videos. They don't. Some of them just have audio. So I'm just gonna go in with the music videos that she's released for this era. Kind of bummed that not every song did. I was really Really expecting like this full-on visual album however I think there's like four or five so that is good enough for me I'm so excited reading everyone's comments has been absolutely the best part of this experience with this album experiencing it you know without English words was just beautiful with the production with her voice with just the feel it all gave so I'm so keen now to understand it well I read about it understand it and now going with the visuals to kind of support that as always so keen to get into this what else is there to say <laughs> we know what she is we know what the album is we've heard the album we know now what it's about this bloody toxic little love psychotic thing. Let's now see the visuals. We're gonna need it. All right, video number one, Mel Mente. It opens up the album. This one's about Rosalia's character feeling that there's something bad coming her way and she's warned by a gypsy lady, but she won't listen. So this girl's, you know, <laughs> she needs to listen because bad stuff is coming. We know that. So keen to see how this all goes. Let's go. Okay. All right. <laughs> Gypsy. I mean, there's a religious like, yeah, imagery. Ooh, yeah, okay. Definitely not what I expected. Did I expect anything? No, <laughs> I really didn't know. I could not get over the visuals, the budget, so much going into this and knowing that this was just a thesis or like a final project for college. How does it have this insane visuals? Like so much has gone into that short song. Absolutely beautiful, stunning artwork with the bicycle. Oh my God, we're in the moving truck and they're dancing. That forklift scene, you think she's being lifted and it's actually just on a forklift. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I guess that bad dude at the start, he's the guy that they're getting warned about, is the guy with the purple costume, the gypsy. Very intriguing, very interesting. Again, I guess there's so many meanings going into it, but it just looks sick. Sonically and visually, it's just so nice. Yeah, her gangster, like, you know, it'll get up and then she's just doing all this really nice singing. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm any more informed than I am before. It's nice to know what it's about, but I'm like, I just kind of really pictured this lady coming up to her and kind of warning her, but she didn't. Interesting. All right, the next video she's got is for Cap 3. It's the Pensia en Tomar. <laughs> I think. I'm sorry for butchering this. This is like the jealousy one. This is where he like, he's like thinking of your look or thinking of your eyes. The whole song is from the POV of the husband. I'm scared when you go out smiling on the streets because everyone can see the dimples in your face and of the air when it blows. So it's kind of, yeah, really toxic this one. So it's like she's trapped in this relationship. He's jealous of everything. Yeah, it's this one. It's, it's going to be extreme, I reckon. Let's see. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, little quintessential Spanish little dancer. Oh. Oh, this is so hard. Oh my god. 
seriously. <laughs> Standing on it. I swear those leg things just like, yeah, traditional Spanish style. Just texting. <laughs> Oh, whoa. I don't know what this says. Something. That's like, yeah, the credits. That's so cool. I've never seen that done before. That is awesome. Oh my god almighty. That was full on. That is so cool. I love that she was just literally texting. <laughs> knowing the meaning of it, knowing what it's about, knowing he's jealous, you know. I mean, I think you could definitely kind of grasp that she's been held hostage. Oh, I don't know. Only in that, I get that scene that was very full on, very confronting. But yeah, she's in this house and she's... Yeah, definitely you, these are songs you need to process and rewatch. I think because it was so full on. When she was like pulling the olives or whatever in the gun, but then it was almost like they were the bull's eyes, that coming up behind her. Again, the imagery, you think she's gonna get attacked, but then it's just constantly watching her. Very cool there, the truck scenes, perfection. Just how she's using those as a part of, you know, the artwork. It's just so awesome to see. Her voice is beautiful, it's stunning. This song is absolutely one of the best, it still is. Just the visuals as well is one of the best out of the two that I've seen. Yeah, insane confronting full on you feel that she's trapped you feel she can't get out when that little little statue that's singing gets smashed very very amazing oh i love it i love her i love how she looks i just love her vibe she's just so effortless in how she does things it's just so beautiful stunning all right the next one i'm so keen for this is one of my favorites i'm so glad there is a music video baghdad now this is the one that samples crime river by justin timberlake i didn't know what it was when i was listening but you guys all let me know and a lot of you said that he doesn't actually let his songs get sampled so the fact that he even allowed this just shows that he really loves her as an artist in the song. I'm so keen and just love hearing that. So Baghdad apparently is a real place. It's a strip club. We've kind of missed a bit of the storyline because there's not a music video for everything. But we've gone through like the disputes. They've had a fight. The denial. So like the sorrow. We've gone through her being a prisoner. So now she's like we're seeing the downfall of the wife and apparently she meets someone new and apparently it's a fallen angel. Adriana also said that people references to the capital city Iraq you know of Baghdad because that's such a devastated city. Very interesting. I would kind of like I said I wish we'd had music videos throughout so we can kind of follow the journey so we've kind of missed a few chapters but it is what it is she's only released this so let's go in with Baghdad let's go Ooh, full on title now all right there she is so I wonder if this is filmed where I'm just referencing that it's a real place oh so like yeah so she's escaped the dude I thought they were gonna meet <laughs> the fallen angel. <laughs> what? Okay, I don't know if the music videos show exactly what the song translates to or if it interprets maybe, or maybe like when that was her seeing the fallen angel or finding someone new. I don't know. Yeah, again, are they just interpretive to specific parts of the chapter or the chapter overall? I don't know. So I'm, yeah, maybe I don't need to be as literal with the translation or what I know the song to be about. I got this music video. Love of those stunning set production, cinematography, everything, the feels you get, just the creativity of it, the budget behind it. I, like I said, I just can't believe how insane these videos are. Uh, yeah, I'm just so blown away that the album is so incredible and the music video just really solidify it Like I said, I wish there was a music video for every single song But there isn't so we can only go with what we can the last song we've got is Demi Mombri Nombri So it's say my name ecstasy the chapter is about the sexual connections between the couple and also the submission to the lover Rosalia said the name of the song is like a little tribute to Destiny's Child song because she was a big fan of them when she was younger That's super cute. So basically she's with this person in secret So I'm guessing this is gonna give it Central bit sexy in the music video. Let's see. Let's go. Hey, the sets are just so nice. Definitely like a telenovela kind of vibe. One take it feels. This is a lot. 
like to visualize for what they're doing. <laughs> oh, they're just so short. Yeah, well, almost, I don't know if that was one take. It definitely felt like there was a long portion of it where it was just one take. So funny, I went to scroll down in the comments. I'm like, oh, I wonder what people are saying about it. And it's all in Spanish. So of course, I can't understand any of it. That was sick. Like I said, I don't know if it was just one take or if there's just a portion of it that was one take. Very cool. Again, the video doesn't always exactly translate it word for word, I guess, what it's about. But I think the bed scene there, that could be depicting what they were doing, but just not doing it, you know, visually. Like you can interpret it that way, I think. Very very cool all four absolute stunners like so good all just add so much to the story if you had every single video to every single song i definitely think that would be so sick but they're also not super telling in the story i think if you didn't know what they're about you could then interpret even the videos to whatever you thought which is very cool as well it's sick how a not in english b don't depict it exactly and then you can kind of go wherever you want but knowing the story then you kind of tap into your own thoughts and going oh is that what she's doing with that or is that what she's doing with that very cool oh i love malamente because it really just was the first video i've seen from her into Introduced it very cool, but Jesus, chapter three, oh my god, that was the best. Song wise, it's just so stunning, but visually, just perfect. It, you just felt that she was getting haunted, followed. Yeah, you definitely felt that oppression that you know she was having throughout the story. It was so good. Baghdad, I loved it. Crummy River, legitimately crying a river, flooding a thing. And then this one coming in just with this, yeah, little central, sexy kind of moment. Whoa, if I wasn't impressed from the album, I'm even more impressed from these music videos. I just can't believe you guys have told me she's won Grammys and she's done so many collabs with so many big people. I just can't believe I've never heard of her before. I'm so glad I finally got into her and I'm just, I'm just keen to keep exploring. I'm keen to hear her collabs. I'm keen to see other stuff. I'm keen for a new album that's coming out. Oh my God, I'm just so keen. It's just, yeah, she's such an amazing artist. Her voice, her visuals, her vision, her creativity. She's a stunner. So good. I mean, yeah, I'm, yeah. It's just amazing. Thank you guys so much for telling me to get onto the videos. It's not often that I kind of really want to see what an artist is doing visually straight away. I'm like, yeah, I can wait or I can chill a bit. Just seeing these added to it, knowing the storyline. So guys, thank you so much. Daniel, Adriana, thank you so much for the breakdown. A lot of you told me all the meanings there was just the longest and the most in depth. So I'm like, I need to follow these and I need to give them a shout out for putting in that much effort. So thank you guys so much. So appreciate it. As always, it helped me understand it more and allow some interpretation when watching the music videos. What did you guys think? Let me know down below. What was your favorite music video? So, yeah, out of the four, oh, insane insane let me know what you think the full uncut to these will be on patreon obviously they have to get super cut down for youtube we all know the drill it's over there if you want to see uncut i'm on instagram at grip and hit like and subscribe if you want to see more of me hope you have a great day viewer i'm gonna have a great day everyone benny's gonna go